T.J. Oshie is down with Scott. Thank you, Jim. Yes, thousands take the uh, Washington subway to work every day, and here's the king in the metro system. All those people who take it to work don't have a Stanley Cup, but you do. Tell me what you're thinking. Oh, we all have it now. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't, it's hard to describe. Uh, besides the, my wedding day and my birth of my two girls, this is, this is the most amazing most amazing feeling I've ever had. TJ, let's just talk for a second about life's turns. In 2002, you moved to Warroad, your father's hometown. Um, you led Warroad to two state high school hockey championships, UND after that, and now you're a Stanley Cup champion. Where's your father, Tim, figuring this win tonight? Oh, you're making me cry really now. My dad's here in the crowd. Uh, he is, uh, He's diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and he doesn't, uh, he doesn't remember a lot of stuff, but you bet your ass he's going to remember this one. All right. Uh, I guess the last question would be, Sorry. Brooks Orpik told Brian McClellan, the general manager of the Capitals, that of all the free agents the Caps had last offseason, you were the most important one to sign, and he had a point. How does it feel to reward the faith of the Capitals with the Stanley Cup tonight? You know, it, it feels good, but it, it was so much more than than just me or just what I did on the ice. Uh, I've never seen a team come together like we did here. And I've been on some really good teams, some really close teams, some teams that I'm, I'm still really good friends with, but uh, I've never seen the commitment from start to finish like we had here. So, you know, I, I really thank Brooks for what he said. And uh, I told Mac that I thought we could win and we can win a couple before we sign. And uh, it just feels so great to do it with this, this great group of guys. Nice when a plan comes together. Thanks for your time. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks a lot.